Paper fade with the Walmart clipper. We're gonna show you the easiest way to use the Walmart clipper doing this fade tape. All right. The first thing you need to know is how to move the Walmart clipper. So, remember, at all times, you're only gonna use half of the blade, and the other half that you're not using will always be up off the blade on an angle. So, on the right side of the head, you're gonna use the left side of the blade, and the right side of the blade is going to be always off the head on an angle. So you're going to come up half of the blade always on an angle, finish on an angle. So your first elevation you will finish like this on an angle on the right side of the head. On the left side of the head you're going to use the right side of the blade and the left side of the blade will always be off the head. So you're going to come up like that on an angle. Now, as far as the levels of the blade being on the head, this is considered flat. So when you come flat, it's going to cut close as you can get it. Always using half the blade flat. Mid level is when you raise the blade up midway and you're still only using half the blade, but you're coming off the head and that's going to cut, leave a little bit more hair on the head. And when you raise the blade up high, you're going to use half of the blade. When I say high, that means it's going to leave even more hair on the head. So flat is the closest. Mid is leaving a little hair. And high leaving the most amount of hair at whatever level you're cutting. So that's flat, mid, high. And you always use only half of the blade cutting on an angle. On the left side of the head, you use the right side of the blade. And the left side of the blade is off. And on the right side of the head, use the left side of the blade, and the right side of the blade is off the head. Angle. So you will start off closing the blade at its closest point, and just go from about right here to, to that, that's your first elevation in the tape. Right there. So half of the blade, swing on the angle. That's it. And then you go on the back, Half of the blade, swing at an angle, about right there, at the bottom of the ear. And then on this side, which is the right side of the head, you're going to use the left side of the blade only. Half of the blade, swing at an angle. Switch up over here on, at an angle. Over here at an angle. Then you're going to do the same thing, first elevation by right there, half of the blade at an angle. That's your first elevation. Next elevation, push the blade, the clipper level all the way back, get it to its lowest point. Start all over again. On the right side of the head, half of the blade, left side of the blade, do the next elevation is about right there.
after the blade. And you stop right there at the front of the ear. Now right here. Only on the angle. And on this side, you switch to the right side of the blade at an angle. Only at an angle, only half of the blade. Over here, you're gonna go by right there at an angle. Now you're gonna take your number one guard, put it on your clipper, and you're gonna go from here to here, all the way open. The longest point, pull all the way back at an angle. At an angle. Right here, at an angle. At an angle. Now you switch sides, and you go to the left side of the blade at an angle on this side. At an angle. So you're going to come from here, always get at an angle. All at an angle. Now you're going to go backwards. So you're going to go halfway with the lever, and you're going to hit that dark area right there, blending out at an angle. So you're going to flat, mid, then drag up high. Then you're going to close it all the way. Flat, mid, high. So you're going to come on this side, go back halfway. Go go flat, mid, high. Then you're gonna close it all the way closest. Flat, mid, high. Okay. So right here you're gonna do the same thing. Go back halfway. Flat. Make sure each side, each side I switch. This side on that side of the blade, and on this side I come this way. Then high, switch high, mid, high. Close all the way, flat, flat, mid, Mid, ha. Now you take the number one, you start off with it all the way open to melt down the wave pattern. The longest point until you get to where it lays down. That's okay, but we want to go a little bit closer. Okay, so that's about right. So you go with the grain. You see how that melted right in? And we're gonna go with the grain on this side.
Same right here. You go in this world, you go with the grain from this world. You see how that melted in right there? Now we're gonna come to the back. See how that taper melt, melt right in? Now, just at the top of the taper all around, you close the blade all the way, make it at its, at its closest point, push the lever up, and just from here down, you're gonna melt that taper down right there. Just from here down, from right there, you melt that taper down with that rubber, with that blade at the closest point with the number one on it. And then while it's all the way closed, you just take right here around the edges, you flick at an angle, just that little edge. All right. At an angle. Now that you're done, now you take the, your number one off. So you're gonna open up the blade at its longest point, pulling the lever all the way back. This is where you're gonna break the lines in the close area. So you go about right here, at an angle, low, mid, and then high. Just soft touch at an angle. When you keep the blade at an angle, you can see your work and you just blend into that. Fade. So you come right right here, you start off low at an angle, then mid at an angle, and then high at an angle. Over here, low at an angle. Mid at an angle and then high. Same over here. All right, then go halfway and do the exact same thing right here at the bottom. And you take and you open it all the way back, go long, and just from here down, melt down with the grain. It's at its longest point, lever pull back, and just go from here down and just melt down with the grain. There you go. We're gonna do it right here. Melt down. Melt down. And then right there, 
meltdown. Now, if you see any frizzies, make the blade at this closest point, push the level all the way up, and you just melt down any frizzies you see. Now you want to line them up. Use boost juice when you want the line to really hit blade boost. Just a little thin shot. Clean it up a little bit. Now, always let the straight edge do your work. So you go to the front and the middle. Stay far as out as you can. Just drop down right there. Once you do that, let take that edge of the blade, go over there, meet it, and then drop down. Let that straight edge make your line. And then you come in the corner and do the same thing. Let the straight edge make your line. Okay, we're going to go to the other side and do the same thing. Put the blade down on the line, then drop. And then come to the corner. Straight edge. And then meet. Keep the line as natural as you can. Stay closest to the natural line as you can. And then you just check the mirror. Make sure you're straight. Make any adjustments that you need to make. And then around here, what I usually do is just take this out, and then we come up, 
on a C circle and then you come down on a C circle. And with the back, same thing. Follow the natural line. We'll let the straight edge do the work to drop down. And then go into your C circle around the ear. taper that out. Same on this side. Let the straight edge do the work for you. And then, of course, we got to do this side. So I come up with a C. Come down. You just check your work. So I pretty much just showed y'all how to do a taper with Walmart clippers. Pretty much the easiest way to use Walmart clippers by keeping it on an angle. Going flat mid high, and you don't have to be all professional like the barbers. We just show you how to do a hillbilly style. We're going to conclude with some music by putting his blues back in the barn.